Hey guys, so this week we're going to be showing you how to stretch your horse and I'm also going to show you some exercises you can do to help your horse stay limber and flexible. And before we get started, our question this week is have you ever had your horse massaged or adjusted by the chiropractor? So I am actually a certified equine massage therapist. Um, so I work on Tucker all the time. I've also had him adjusted by the chiropractor. I find that it's a great natural way to fix things with your horse. And so if you've had any of that done with your horse, just comment and let us know below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos. So how many of you have pulled a muscle before? I definitely have. So by stretching your horse, you're gonna help decrease the risk of injury for them, especially when it comes to ligaments and tendons and muscle injuries. You're also gonna help your horse become more flexible, which is always good. Stretching can also help your horse build muscle and keep the muscle tone that they need. So before we stretch, I'm just gonna make sure that I warm Tucker up. You never wanna stretch cold muscles because that can actually lead to an injury. So I'm gonna have him move around and get his muscles nice and warm, and then we can start stretching. So these first few stretches are usually the horse's favorite because it involves treats. <laughs> so our first stretch is called the nose to hip stretch. And what this is gonna do is I'm gonna bring the horse's nose back towards their hip, right here, their point of hip. And this is gonna cause them to stretch all throughout their top line and through their neck muscles on the other side. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna take my treat and get my horse's attention. Now, as you can see, he's already being very attentive. And I'm gonna bring his nose back to his hip using my treat. And I just want him to hold this for a few seconds. So we got a bite out of it. Come on. And so I'll have him hold. There you go, good boy. And that way those muscles are getting nice and stretched. So this is a stretch that you can do on both sides of your horse. And that way you get that balance throughout the horse's body. No, he's got it. <laughs> Tucker knows how to get the treats, that's for sure. Hold it, hold it, hold it. There, good. So our next stretch is called the bowing stretch. And it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So the bowing stretch is also another great exercise for stretching the horse's top line all the way from the rump up through their neck. So for this stretch, he's gonna be putting his head in between his front legs and stretching like as if he were bowing. So I just wanna make sure my lead rope isn't gonna get tangled or in his way. I like to try and keep it loose so I'm not pulling on his head or it's not getting stuck in between his legs and his head. So how I'm gonna do this stretch is I have my treat and I'm gonna put it in between his two front legs here. And when he brings his nose towards me, I'm gonna bring my hand back towards his hind end and just hold it. Come on, hold it. A few seconds, there we go, good boy. So the next stretch we're gonna do is called the tail pull stretch. And all I'm gonna do here is pull the horse's tail back, and this is gonna help align the spine and stretch those muscles throughout the back. All right, so this is a pretty simple stretch. I'm just gonna walk back here and get my horse's tail, and then I can just go to the end of the tail here and lean my pressure. And I'll just hold that for a few seconds, and then I'll release it. And then I can lean again. Oh, he's gonna come towards me. Hold, and then release. Good boy, one more time. I'm gonna hold, and then I'll release. Good boy. So not everyone feels comfortable standing behind their horse and pulling the horse's tail. I've actually seen some horses kick out when this has been done. So if that's your situation, there is another way you can do this exercise. If you stand here right beside the horse's back leg and you can grab the tail. And the way I'm gonna stretch this here is I can put my elbow or my hand into the horse's leg and then I'll just use my other hand to apply that pressure and hold it and then I'll release. And so by standing right here, I'm number one, keeping myself safer compared to if I'm standing behind the horse. And if the horse is to try and kick me here, if I'm close to the horse, the horse isn't gonna be able to get as much momentum as if I was standing behind them. So that's something to be aware of and to note. But anyway, you can do this on both sides and I'll do it a few times on each side. I'll hold it for a few seconds and then release and then I'll hold 
and release. So you may notice Tucker isn't tied to anything or no one's holding him. He gets these stretches done almost every day and so he knows to just stand still. But I recommend you have someone holding your horse or you have your horse tied up as you're doing this and that will just give you the security that you need and the horse won't be able to just walk away if they wanted to. So our next stretch is called the nose to ground stretch and we actually do this in a lot of our videos. So horses were naturally built to have their heads down grazing all day long. But in today's world, they usually have their heads up and they're eating out of a hay net or maybe eating a round bale. And so this will cause tension in their withers. It's also gonna cause them their back to hollow out when they put their neck up. So what this is gonna help do is number one, stretch the top line across as it should be, but also release tension in the neck and in the withers. So if you have a horse that finds this stretch hard, that means they may have tension throughout their neck and their withers. So this is a great way that we can relieve that tension. So this exercise does require a little bit of training. So all I'm gonna do is I want my horse to lower their head when I apply pressure to their lead rope or their pole. So that'll look something like this, where I can bring his nose all the way down to the ground. If your horse isn't used to pressure being applied like that, they may at first jerk their head up. So the way you teach your horse to lower their head like this is I'm gonna put my hand right here on my lead rope and I'll just pull down lightly towards the ground. And if the horse doesn't respond, I'll, I'll start gradually increasing the pressure I'm using to pull down towards the ground. And so then I'll just hold the pressure and I might have to hold it for even a minute in the beginning until the horse will just drop their nose in the slightest. So I'll pull down, see how he dropped his nose and I let go of the pressure. So I'll pull down, he drops his nose. And so this is a good place to start. I'm just gonna release the pressure as soon as he responds in the beginning. And once he gets the concept, then I'll start holding the pressure further so he has to go all the way to the ground. So same thing with the pull of the horse. I'm gonna press down lightly. If he doesn't respond, I'll press down a little harder and so on and so forth until he'll soften his head and I'll release that pressure. So I'll press down, release the pressure, and then I'll just encourage them to hold that for a minute. So we can hold it for a few seconds. I know you're smelling my boot. And then we can release. So eventually, with most of the horses I work with, I teach them to do this stretch, and then eventually I can just leave them there, and they'll just sit here like this. They kind of look like a drugged horse, but... <laughs> This feels really nice to them. It relieves that tension and it's also relaxing to them. If you notice when a horse gets nervous, they immediately put their head up and they're looking around. So if I can get my horse to soften and relax, this is also a great way to help them calm down and just chill out for a minute. So the next stretch we're gonna do, I like to call the circus pony stretch. And the reason I call it that is because if you've ever gone to the circus, you've probably seen an elephant stand on a really tiny platform so that their feet are really close together. So this is basically what this stretch looks like. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna stretch, number one, the horse's top line. A lot of these stretches are stretching the horse's top line, but it's also gonna really specifically stretch through the hips and the pelvis and help the pelvis turn as it should. This stretch can also help build your horse's core muscles. So just like humans, horses have abs and they need to build that muscle so they can carry themselves more properly. So I like to think of this as a little bit more of an advanced stretch just because there's more training to it. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him a cue here to step his back legs forward and bring his feet under him. There, come on, keep coming. Come on. Good, and I'm just trying to get those hind feet as close to the front feet as I can. All right, there we go. Look how lifted his back is. His back is lifted, his hind end is under him, and so right now it's like he's doing a crunch and he's holding it. So I'll let him hold this for a few seconds and then he can step out of it. Good boy. All right, so I'll just put him there for a minute. So as you can see, it does look like he's standing on a pedestal or something. Um, but this is a really complicated thing to teach your horse. And we actually have an entire video dedicated to that 
Otherwise, this video would be way too long and you'd probably get bored. I'll put a link in the description to that video. That video is actually about teaching your horse to lay down. This is one of the steps I use to teach a horse to do this. So if you want to get your horse to do this stretch, you can go ahead and go check out that video and I'll walk you through how to get them to do this. So our next stretch is called the tummy tuck stretch. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna encourage the horse to lift their belly. And when they do this, they're gonna engage their oblique muscles and their abdominal muscles, which are through here. And this is also gonna help them stretch their back. And so this is a great overall stretch and workout for your horse. All right, so the way you do this is I'm gonna take my hand here, find my horse's belly button, so that's my one spot. And then I go back a few more inches towards their hind end more. And I'm gonna drag my thumb up their belly and see how he lifts his back. So I can hold this for a few seconds. And then I'll release. And so this is something you can do a few times on each side. I try and do it five times on each side. A lift, good boy. And so these are kind of like crunches in a way. And so you don't want to do too much of them, otherwise your horse can get sore. So I just want to do enough so that he's building that muscle and also stretching through his back. So let me go on the other side and you guys can see how he's lifting his back a little bit better. All right, so if you guys look now, you can see how his back is kind of just dipped a little bit. So when I lift it, drag my thumbs, see how it becomes straight and he straightens it up. So he's holding those muscles right now. I'm gonna let him hold it for a few seconds and then I'll release, good boy. So let me walk you guys through what I'm doing with my hands to get him to stretch. So I'm bringing my hand under his belly and finding his belly button, which is about right here. So a little past his girth area. And then I'm taking my other hand and putting it a little bit back more towards his hind end. I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna drag my fingers up his side like this. And I am gonna be applying pressure probably like a medium pressure. So I'm gonna drag up and he'll lift. And I drag to about right here and I'm just gonna hold it. And then I'll release. So this next exercise is called the butt tuck stretch. And it's very much like the tummy tuck in that we're just gonna get the horse to engage their core muscles. It's gonna act like a crunch and that's gonna stretch the horse, this time more through their hip and their back and it's gonna encourage them to lift their back and strengthen those back muscles that they need. So you probably noticed that I have Tucker just attached to the fence over here. This is just because this exercise, what we're gonna be doing is kind of pushing on the horse's rear and this is gonna kind of encourage the horse to step and move forward out of the pressure. And so I'm just gonna put him on the fence so he can't walk out of the pressure. So this is another one of those exercises where if you're not confident standing behind the horse, then this may not be one to do with them for now. All right, so I'm gonna stand behind my horse here. I'm gonna find my point of hip, which is right here, and then my horse's tail. And I'm gonna put my thumb in between the middle of them, right here. And I'm gonna draw a line applying pressure towards the horse's tail and then down their leg. All right, so let me draw my line and see he's lifting his butt and his back. And I'll just let him hold that for a few seconds and then I'll release. All right, so hip, tail, thumbs in the middle, draw my line down and that was a big lift. So I'll let him hold that. And this is a great exercise I do with Tucker. He tends to have problems with his pelvis where that his pelvis may get tilted the wrong way. So this exercise is great for correcting the pelvis and also just straightening this alignment through here. So it's gonna strengthen these muscles and it's gonna strengthen these muscles down below that help support the horse's back when they do that. So let's talk about stretching the horse's legs. Our next stretch is called the hamstring and the hock stretch. And we're gonna focus on these areas of the hind legs. So this is a great stretch to do to help your horse decrease their risk of injury with their hind legs, but also to build these muscles back here. So let's think about if your horse is trotting over a trot pole, they have to engage these muscles to hold their back leg up. So this stretch is gonna help build these muscles right here. So I like to think of this stretch as the equivalent to trying to touch your toes as a human. So what this is gonna stretch is your horse's hamstring, which if you stick your hand in the inside of your horse's back leg, here's your hamstring. And then back here is the hock. So it's gonna stretch all through here and help loosen up these 
tendons and ligaments and muscles. So let me pick up his leg. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the leg forward until I have kind of a resistance and I'm gonna bring it towards the ground so it's about an inch off the ground and I'm just gonna hold it here. I'm sure he's feeling the burn right now. I remember trying to touch my toes and it was torture and I hated having to hold that stretch. And then I'll let him put his foot down. So real quick, let's talk about leg stretches. You wanna be careful doing leg stretches cause you can actually injure the horse. So if he were to start resisting me and trying to pull his leg back and I'm just holding it here and fighting him, he can easily pull his muscles. So if he starts to fight me, I wanna kinda of release the pressure a little bit and go back to an area that he's comfortable. So like that, I'll let him go back here and then I'll just gradually bring it back and hold and he's fighting. So I'll go back, hold it there, good boy. All right, so I'm just gonna do his other leg here. Hold it an inch above the ground about. I'll let him feel the burn a little bit. I know I'm feeling the burn just standing here like this. And then I'll put it back. Good boy. So our next stretch is called the stifle stretch. And this is also going to be stretch working with the horse's back legs. So your horse's stifle is right here on the horse's leg. So what we're going to do, if you've ever seen a farrier work on the horse, we're going to take the leg and pull it backwards. This is going to stretch the horse all through their abdominal muscles and through their stifle. So let me get the leg here. I'm just going to bring it back as far as he'll let me. And I'm just going to hold it here for a few seconds. All right, and so I'm just holding his leg back. And he's frightened me a little bit, so I'll move back to a place he's comfortable. Good boy. All right, so I'm gonna do the other hind leg real quick. I'm gonna stretch it back. And so when I do this stretch, I also, a lot of people like to hold the hoof down here, but I wanna kinda of hold it up more and encourage that stretch. Good boy. So our next stretch is called the girth stretch. Pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna be bringing the front leg forward to encourage stretching through the girth area. So this area goes very overlooked. You know, it's being squeezed by a strap of leather. So eventually it's gonna build up some tension. So hopefully by stretching the front leg and creating a stretch through here, we can help relieve some of that tension. So to me, I like to do two parts to this stretch. So what I'll do, let me pick up my foot, is I'll first take the leg and just stretch it up like this. And I'll hold it for a few seconds and then I'll release because he wants to fight me. Come on. So I'll stretch. Hold it and release. So you can even visibly see that stretch through there. And so once I've done this, then I'll go and have him stretch out his leg for me. So I can just hold his pastern here and hold this for a few seconds. What a good boy. There you go. So stretching your horse is something that you can do on a daily basis. I recommend stretching your horse after you've ridden. That way their muscles are warm and they can be stretched. When you stretch cold muscles, you risk injury. So that's just something to be aware of. If you wanna stretch your horse before your ride, you wanna make sure that you lunge them or get them moving beforehand so then you can safely stretch them. Another thing to note is if your horse has any pre-existing injuries like a ligament tear or a tendon tear, stretching could actually make those worse. So you wanna make sure you consult a veterinarian and that you're aware of this issue before you go ahead and try and stretch. So if you got anything useful out of this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos. Now Tucker here is ready to go take a nap. <laughs>